Hey folks, welcome back. This is the second in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the Advanced Higher Physics exam. In this video, we cover the definitions for the rotational motion topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions. You can do this by writing down the word or term on one side, and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. Our first definition is velocity, and this is defined as the rate of change of displacement. Remember this word rate means with respect to time, so in other words you could say it's the displacement per unit time, or the displacement each second. Next we have acceleration, and acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. Again, rate means with respect to time, so you could also say it's the change in velocity each second, or the change in velocity per unit time. And acceleration is also the second differential of displacement with respect to time. Angular velocity this time is the rate of change of angular displacement, or in other words it's the angular displacement per unit time, or the angular displacement each second. Angular acceleration is the rate of change of angular velocity, or in other words it's the change in angular velocity per unit time, or the change in angular velocity each second. It is also the second differential of angular displacement with respect to time. Moving on we have moment of inertia, and this is a measure of an object's resistance to angular acceleration about a given axis. It depends on the mass of the body and the distribution of its mass about a given axis of rotation. And remember there are different equations for moment of inertia depending on the shape of the object that you're looking at. And these are given on the relationship sheet in the exam. Lastly we have the principle of conservation of angular momentum, also known as the law of conservation of angular momentum. And this says that the total angular momentum before an interaction is equal to the total angular momentum after the interaction, provided there are no external torques acting on the objects. So this is just the angular form of the principle of conservation of linear momentum, or the law of conservation of linear momentum, which was seen in the higher physics course. And so instead of talking about linear momentum, and here we're talking about angular momentum instead, and instead of no external forces acting on the objects, we're talking about no external torques this time. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.